From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with OU beat writer Joe Masato. Joe, UCLA comes to town. This is uh, kind of one of those matchups of big names in college football. UCLA hasn't been great, though, recently. And maybe one of the things you can point to is recruiting because you look at the Sooner roster, they've got a good number of Californians on that roster and guys that are pretty important to them. Yeah, a lot of guys, a lot of guys from California. Uh, really important recruiting weekend in general for the Sooners. It makes it kind of weird that it's a noon kickoff. Uh, Lincoln Riley was talking uh, Monday about logistically it's just so difficult for this matchup because they've got to have some guys get to the airport at 2 a.m. to get to Norman by the game. But really important recruiting weekend, um, especially when you've got a marquee matchup, even though they aren't what they always are in UCLA, but it's still a matchup that uh, recruits nationally are paying attention to, and especially in Southern California, where OU likes to recruit a lot. Well, and these guys that are currently on the roster, you're talking about guys like Caleb Kelly, Grant Calcaterra, uh, some some important pieces on both sides of the football for the Sooners, and uh, some of them not necessarily looked at by the Bruins when they were in high school, right? Exactly. Grant Calcaterra was one that really stood out yesterday when we talked to him um, in, in the afternoon, and he was saying that you know he didn't get a lot of offers from California schools and especially UCLA was was one school that didn't offer him and he said it's definitely in the back of his mind this week as he plays the Bruins what what about sort of long-term ramifications when it comes to recruiting California in general because I mean the Sooners don't draw a ton and we're not talking about Texas mm -hmm. uh, you know recruiting here but how important is it to to play well win this game in recruiting terms for the Sooners I think it's really important because when we talked to a lot of guys, they were saying, especially on the coaching staff, they were saying a lot of guys that grew up in California or on the West Coast, they grew up and see themselves as Pac-12 guys, and their families and their friends think they're going to wind up at a Pac-12 school. So when Oklahoma gets a matchup against one of these schools, it can show them, okay, you know, there's more than just the Pac-12 out there, and you can go to a place like Oklahoma. And I think that's where they can really um, – kind of draw interest from guys out there with a game like this. All right. It'll be interesting to see how these California guys perform on Saturday when UCLA is in town, a, a school that a lot of them probably watched a lot when they were growing up. We'll see how it goes. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.